skin? Do you remember what's I underneath the skin? I see something. <laughs> Do you remember what the layer under the skin is called? The fat. That's right. <laughs> Look, yep. there's the cancer. That's right, you can see the cancer. And then we want to mobilize or loosen the sigmoid colon right here. Do you see the ureter back there? You gotta watch out for that. So there's our specimen. We'll put that into our little specimen bowl. But that's Macy's bowl. It is Macy's bowl. And then we're going to take this to the pathology lab so that they can examine it. We're going to make the stoma. So the stoma is the hole that's going to go on the outside here. We're going to move the opening so that they can poop out of here now. So we want to cut down the length of the muscle. Into I the don't tendons. like muscle. <laughs> we have muscle over a lot of our body, don't we? But look, there's a hole. Can you see it? Pinch, 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 pinch. Oh yeah, let's try to cover that up. It's called a hernia. Out, the poop comes into the bag. Can I see the layer? Yes, we can definitely see the layer. What's the yellow part Those are the epiploic appendages. Those are little uh, hangy parts of fat. What does it do? I don't know what they do. Really. That's a good question. But you know the skin and the fat and the muscle. And now we have our ostomy going through there. The stump, that's the part of the colon that was left behind. This is the large intestine. So here's the small intestines. And then behind you can see the blood vessels. The ureter is something that you always have to protect.